The president uh, railing against the media in today's news conference. Back with me now, Charles Blow, Kaylee McEnany, Betsy McCoy, and Peter Byron. We're having a quiet conversation right before the break. <laughs> so uh, President Trump had some comments about this show. Take a listen to what he said to CNN's Jim Acosta. You look at your show that goes on at 10 o'clock. You just take a look at that show. That is a constant hit. The panel is almost always exclusive anti-Trump. The good news is he doesn't have good ratings, but the panel is almost exclusive anti-Trump. And the hatred and venom coming from his mouth, the hatred coming from other people on your network. Now, I will say this. Uh, I watch it. I see it. I'm amazed by it. Well, at least he said I was a hit, so at least. Boom. Sorry. Uh, he said but he said he doesn't watch CNN, but then he watches this show. So I'm glad he's watching. How can but, he resist? Yeah, I, exactly. How can he resist? You're a longtime Trump supporter. You're on my show all the time. What's your response? Look, I mean, you're always very kind to me, and I'm on here a lot, and you give me a lot of time and are fair to me. Um, I think some of my left-wing counterparts are very unfair to Trump. Um, I think any time there's any sort of vagueness or gaps in the facts, when there's leaks, for instance, they insert sinister suspicion mm -hmm. where it does not belong. I don't think it's you, but I do think some of my left-wing commentators no, who no, I disagree no, with no, ideologically no, 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 do that. The fact that you touched me before you said that is wrong. Don't do that. Don't do don't do that. Don't 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 touch okay. me and then say then you go launch it to your sinister motivations diatribe. Okay. That's not going to happen tonight, ma'am. I, I didn't realize right. there's a one-inch barrier there, where I'm not allowed to, there, to, there to is, get close no, to there, you, Charles there, Blow. There is, now I know, so I'll scoot over this yeah, way a tad scoot, bit. You can scoot until you fall off that ledge. Okay. I'm, what I'm right. telling you okay. is don't See, touch is, me. All right, all right. But Charles, this is the problem. This yeah. is the problem. And it was what you just said to me is a lot like what Maxine Waters said today when she said, look, don't ask to meet with me, President Trump. I don't even want to meet with you. We're all Americans. Maybe you don't feel that way. We have one president. We should all want him to succeed, and we should all be friends at the end of the day and hug it out. And if you don't want to do that, about, you don't have to about, do that. You're about to turn this from but a civil conversation into me telling. Because we're all Americans. No, 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 ma'am. Because we're all you, Americans. You, because now you, that's a very personal attack to say that I don't I'm an American. I, maybe I don't believe that I'm an American. Don't do that. You See, said no, I'm no, not no. even allowed to touch you. No, that you're is not. just like what Maxine Waters no, said. No, you're not. No, you're not. Okay. No, you're not. Okay. That's, okay. that's okay. very sad. No, you're not. Go ahead. Sad is if you want to be sad. Go ahead. I'm telling you, don't do that. Ahead, the president is taking a lot of guff for today for saying that his administration has been a well-oiled machine. And I'd just like to point out that over the last three weeks, he has put together a White House staff, nominated 12 cabinet members, all of whom so far are getting through except one, Andy Puster. That's a far better record than Obama had at this point. And he has met with three major heads of state, very successful meetings with Theresa May, with the head of Japan, yep. with Benjamin Netanyahu. He has met with corporate executives and persuaded them to put more jobs in the U.S. But instead of Mexico. Betsy, I and understand what you're saying. I know you're getting the president's agenda, which he did today in this press conference. Amazing. I but think it's an amazing thing record is, is that, But you weeks. cannot say it is a well-oiled machine. When you look at the fallout from the travel ban, when you look at what's happening with does, Russia, me, when you're looking at what happened with Those Flynn, are all good points. Okay, but that's but, not, that's not but, a well oiled machine let's, let's or a, compare a fine the travel machine, ban kerfuffle said. with the rollout of Obamacare three months of crashing websites people very sick losing oh, their health how hands. long did that exactly. happen into the okay. oh my god go ahead First of all, he doesn't have a national security advisor. The national security, right? That wasn't the Senate's problem, right? He didn't have to get that confirmed. He doesn't have a national We just learned today that the guy he wanted to replace the national security advisor won't take the job. Barack Obama, by this point, had already passed a stimulus bill, right? Actually, a ma whether you like it or not, a massive piece of legislation, right? What has Donald Trump does, done that is, that is equivalent to that? Many of his government meetings, right, the one with the leader from Australia, for instance, were international incidents because of the things that he reportedly said during those meetings. So I think it's hard to suggest. Today, there was a report from someone on the National Security Council who told a reporter, I don't know what's going on. No one here knows what's going on. That well -oiled machine. That is the swamp trying to sink him. These are career diplomats, people who are holdovers from previous administrations. You don't actually know trying that. to do damage to our country. I in do order hear that. To, to this point, Trump. I hear that. But how do you, what do you mean they're holdovers? You don't think that those are uh, career people who care some about their country are, more than... Some of them are, and some of them are people who probably will leave and be replaced. Right, and but the at ten, the moment, they're still the there. The ten people leaving And they're the not serving us, the public. Yeah. And, but some of the, some of the information that has been leaked 
has been things that you would probably only know if you were in his inner circle. So, now, some of it may be coming from other places. It could be congressmen. It could be people in the intel community. Some of that is coming from the White House because some of the details that I have read, nobody else would even know them if you were not in the White House. So he, it is his extreme vetting is apparently not working because he has not, not vetted true. somebody. There's... And somebody in the White House is also okay. contributing. To I've got to go. We're like two minutes over, and I'm going to get in trouble. Coming oh. up. Thank you all. I appreciate it. We're all... <laughs> Calm now.